Welcome back to the show, everyone. A pleasure to have our next guest join us. This is her 12th book, and for great reason. Yes, uh, New York Times bestseller, Your Best Body Now. It is never too late, people. And Tosca Reno is here to tell us how. How are you? Hey, I'm great. How Hi, are Tosca. you? We were just laughing because uh, there's so many things that go on in this, but people have no qualms about about sort of making you prove what great shape you're in. Well, there's we live in the world of airbrush and, you know, illusion and all the rest of it. And so uh, often when I'm somewhere in person, people will push my hair aside and say, you know, where's the surgery marks? Or they'll lift up my T-shirt, show me your abs. They'll do this for me rather than my... Rather, rather okay. than you asking. You are proud to say your age. How old are you? Yes, I'll be 52 this year. Mother of five? Yes. And when was your aha moment that made you want to make oh, the, the change? Epiphany. Um, it was about 11 years ago, I was 39, and in my worst moment, uh, I weighed 204 pounds, and I'm five foot eight, so you know, it was about 75 pounds too heavy. I was obese. Um, just had that, you know, I looked in the mirror and I went, oh, this sucks, I look terrible. Yeah. I, and I thought, maybe the best is behind me, and what does that mean going forward? And I, I couldn't live with that. And well, I think a lot of people can identify. Well, I was going to say, yeah. a lot of people have that moment, but they just... You did. They don't know... Well, I think everybody yeah. does at a certain point where they yeah. realize, well, wait a second, you know, I'm getting older. I have a very limited amount of time to correct this. But yeah. people just don't know where to start. And that's always the hardest part for people, isn't it? It's the same place they begin, though, with the food that's on your plate. All yeah. right, let's and, talk and, about and that. that was... It was a mind blow for me, because I thought, well, well, food is food. I mean, what difference does it make what I eat? But the difference is, is between you know, slim and obese, and it's the, between your yeah. best body now and your worst body yeah. now. And lethargy it's and vitality, I mean. Health, it's, it's, it's really literally life-saving. So um, we developed this concept called Eating Clean, which I, you know, I don't, I didn't make it up. I certainly followed the principles when I competed in my first bodybuilding contest at the age of 42. <laughs> <laughs> she can you know. flex, she's not joking. <laughs> now there are simple, and I love the way that, the, of course, people know you from the Eat Clean Diet yeah. and all the other books. This book here is so well laid out for people to Thank get you. started. Let's talk about simple things people can do, like what should they do in their kitchen cupboards and their fridge right. just to get themselves there? Big one, if you do nothing else today, you go home, Go to your kitchen cupboards and take sugar right out of your diet or any white flour products that translate into sugar because they do the same thing in your body, right? Um, I was a sugaraholic, but I didn't even know it. It was in my coffee, it was in my peanut butter, it was in my cereal, it was virtually in everything I was eating, but yeah. I didn't know. And a lot of us don't know. People would be shocked if they went yeah. home and they looked at There's the ingredients list. sugar in cigarettes. I don't smoke, but four There's teaspoons of sugar in what? a cigarette. What? <laughs> what? I know. You've got to have something to go with the formaldehyde. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> An otherwise healthy <laughs> habit ruined right. by sugar. Right. sugar out is another step. <laughs> a simple thing like drinking water drinking can make water. a huge difference. How much should we drink a day and what does that do for well, you? Well, I program the drinking of water, not the drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, another book. A little bit of wine. That's all right. But... Story, right? Uh, right in, I put it right into my, my eating plan, and that, and I don't call it a diet so much because it's more of a lifestyle change, but six times a day, I'm eating small meals, and at each of those meals, I'm drinking, you know, 500 mils of water, so I'm trying to get about three liters of water in a day. The reason I do that is because lots of times, we don't even recognize that we're thirsty, and we think it's hunger. Yeah. So first, you start by quenching the thirst. Obviously, all the other stuff, like, you know, being able to get rid of what you need to get rid of out of your body, mm -hmm. the proper waste elimination, hydration, just your yeah. skin, your hair, everything, you know, you, we need water. Well, and, and this book sort of really does cover, I mean, in a way, this is kind of your most personal book as well, it because it, it talks about the whole process that you went through. It tells uh, my story. It tells how low it really got, yeah. uh, you know, from being in an abusive relationship, uh, from neglecting myself. Um, I'm sure so many women can identify with putting themselves last on the honeydew list. And yeah. in the book, I teach to flip it and put you first. Mm -hmm. Because it's just like when we came into Vancouver last night on that plane. Emergency with the turbulence, you know, when you need to look after yourself and the air masks come down, you gotta put it on you first. <laughs> right. and then the dependents, the little people, because right? Because then you can take care of other people You're if you take good care to of anybody. yourself. Yeah. That's right. So this, is, this was a huge, you mean I can look after myself? Yeah. That's okay? Well, and fitting these things in, uh, your family, the great thing about families, if you're in the right relationship, is it has a way of molding around what you need to do. Uh, and if you incorporate exercise into your everyday, into your life, 
everything else will kind of flow around that. Well, and the second time around, I got it right. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I met. We a, all have to take one shot. And <laughs> I, I met the iconic Robert Kennedy, who is not only my husband but my publisher and and my greatest. He's like the sun to grass. He makes me grow. Yeah. Um, and he taught me all about the eating clean and about my potential. And we often need someone to teach us that. And that's why in your best body now, I put those moments because. You know, even with the best of intentions, unless somebody's supporting you, yeah. it's really yeah. hard to get and out of the gutter. When you're talking about fitness, what is your advice for getting to the gym? Because just that, get there. <laughs> yeah, just find something you like. <laughs> you know, find something you like, even if it's walking. Yeah. You know, as long as you're up off the couch once in a while. Well, you were talking about your mom, right? It's 75, I'm, I'm walking three she, miles. She walks three miles a day. The woman is, she's kept her, her vitality. She's kept her, her brain together. She, you know, she kicks my butt. Yeah. And she can rock a one piece. Well, you know, I mean, i got to keep up with her. Wait, let's, that, look at, let's look at the cover of the magazine. Just that is talking a huge about part of it, isn't it? I mean, Very. I, just finding what you love and finding, yeah. wow, so Oscar. If you, <laughs> I know, stop 52. it. 52. We did mention that. <laughs> so, you know, if I only had 10 or 12 minutes a day to train, I could find a way to make that work for right. me. I can get in the gym, and it's not punishment for me. Yeah. Um, it's my salvation. It's my sanctuary. It's those 10 or 12 minutes, and if I have more, 30 minutes, that rebuild everything that was broken and destroyed within me, which yeah. women are terrible. Women are just awful for that. They will sell their soul for their families. Yeah. And that was, I did that. They're but, fixers. But That's, they are. Yeah. But you gotta fix you. You mm -hmm. gotta you gotta create that incredible self. It's not even about the outward appearance so much as I needed to rebuild all that broken self-esteem inside of me and the gym was the place I did it. Every time I lifted a weight, I rebuilt something. And, and you know, weights don't talk back and they don't ask for peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like you, Wait. And look at her now. Well, you can pick up uh, the book, Your Best Body Now, Beautiful. of course, and you can meet Tosca tomorrow. That's February 16th at 7 o'clock at the Chapters in Langley if you event. want to get your book signed. Thank you so much. Thanks, it's Tosca. Pleasure. I hope everybody comes out because I love to spend time with the, the people who have really made this happen for yeah, me. Yeah, well, you're an inspiration to so many people, and I can certainly understand why. Mike so, will thank you. rock the one piece for you. That's hey, right. <laughs> I'm going to keep on keeping it tight. Yeah. <laughs>